There seems to be a lot of confusion about the BRCA gene. We know through the media that Angelina Jolie had a BRCA gene mutation and she made the decision to have a double mastectomy. I'm not judging her because she saw her mother die a very horrible death with traditional medicine and cancer. So I'm sure there was a lot of fear involved in knowing that she had a BRCA gene mutation. But in reality, less than 2% of women who have family cancer, familial cancer, have a BRCA gene mutation, less than 2%. What most women don't realize is that the BRCA gene is a tumor suppressor gene. It's a good gene that can actually help to suppress and prevent breast cancer from developing. But the question is, what causes the BRCA gene to mutate? To mutate? Well, we know through the study of epigenetics, which is looking at the science of genes and how they react, that genes can be affected by our lifestyle, by our level of stress, by chemicals in the environment, by our lack of sleep, by our nutrition. And so the question to ask ourselves, if there are things that we can do to prevent a BRCA gene mutation, then is there a possibility also of reversing that? We know through the study of nutrigenomics, which is the study of the science of food and how it affects our genes, that yes, genes can be affected and we have a large measure of control over how our genes are expressed. So just because a woman, a woman may have a BRCA gene mutation, it does not mean that she has a propensity necessarily to develop breast cancer if she takes responsibility in making sure that she has a very healthy lifestyle.